Tina Fisher, foreign correspondent. <laughs> hey, Sully. How you doing, sweetheart? Oh, no. Sorry, that's sort of frowned upon here. Oh, right. You two can hold hands, though. <laughs> How are you, Elena? Good, thanks. You, uh, you look great. So, against my better judgment, these permits will get you through most checkpoints. Okay, great. Oh, and I shouldn't be worried about what's in those bags, right? <laughs> of course not. No. Yeah, not yet, anyway. <laughs> All right, remember, you're journalists now. So try and act respectable. Think you can handle that? I think she's talking to you. <laughs> so what exactly are you two reprobates up to? Uh, it's just a little historical research. Right, so that explains the big rush? Exactly. No cursed treasures? Nope. No diabolical warlords? No. You are the worst liar. What? You are. Oh, come on, we're not gonna start Excuse this, me. are we? Just... The car, where is it? Oh, it's over there. I'll just take the bags and meet you. Mate. You're still wearing it. I, yeah, I am. <laughs> it helps in this part of the world. Oh, really? Seriously? Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> I see you're still wearing yours. What? Oh, oh, yeah. That's what this is all about, isn't it? <sighs> you don't understand. I finally proved it. Drake lied about his route through the East Indies. 400 years ago, he came here. Why, Nate? That's what we're here to find out. No, I mean, why this obsession? I'm... I'm just worried. I can take care of myself, all right? I'm not talking about you. <laughs> what, Sully? He would go to the ends of the Earth for you, Nate. Just don't ask him to. Come on, that's not fair. What is that even supposed to mean? What's that? Ah. If you could just drop us at the edge of the city, that'd be great. Not a chance. You two are my responsibility now. I'm not taking my eyes off of you. If you're trying to pick up Francis Drake's trail, we should head to the old quarter. Ah, so this is the new part. Well, it's all relative. The city was founded at least 3,000 years ago. All right, well, lead on. All right, there. You see that tower up ahead? That's where the old city starts, so we need to make our way over there. Salam. Okay, through here. All right, now I need you to be on your best behavior. Yes, ma'am. No, I'm serious. The police, they have patrols everywhere, and we don't need to arouse any suspicions. You got it. We're just gonna cut through the market. Looks like they got the street blocked off. I'll go see what I can do. You two just stay here. Hey. She's still wearing it. No. Oh, yeah. Apparently it helps in this part of the world. What does that mean? I don't know. <clears throat> so? All right. It's no good. They're not letting anybody through. Let's try over here. I know another way around.
اسمع هذه ها نعم من فضلك افتح الباب اه طبعا طبعا تفضلي شكرا ثانكس بيل تفضلي اختي Good thing we've got you with us. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, up here. Oh, great, more cops. Yeah, it looks like we're not getting through here either. Gonna have to find another way around. Hey, up here. There's got to be another way through. Come on, follow me. Yeah. You two all right? Yeah, on our way. We'll just cut through. It'll be fine. Just don't break anything. Yeah, here we go. Down there. Those buildings would have been hundreds of years old, even when Francis Drake was alive. Right. Good thinking. Hey. Nate. Hey. Huh? Talbot. Who? He's got Cutter's notebook. What? Wait, what? Charlie Cutter? Yeah. No time. Sully can explain everything. Hey, wait a minute. Meet you down there. Yeah, 
Hey, come on. Okay, this way. Hurry. Down here. Is somebody gonna fill me in here? Who are those guys? And what does Charlie have to do with all this? He was working with us on this one. Wait, what was? He's not dead. No, no. Him and Chloe. Wait, Chloe too? Yeah, but they both bowed out when Cutter broke his leg. He broke his leg? He's <laughs> lucky he didn't break his damn neck or fall like that. He's fine. Just between that and burning to death, I think I would have jumped too. Not helping. All right, just tell me what you're really looking for. Uh, this? <laughs> Come here. Sully, check this out. I think we lost him. What do you got? It looks like we stumbled right into our secret entrance. Well, that's our girl. No, not going down there without some hardware. Go talk to that rug merchant we just passed. Well, no guns, weapons. He's not really a rug merchant. Oh, <laughs> right. Hey, just uh, watch yourself out there, okay? Yeah. All right, what is all this crap you're giving me about Sully? with me. Those guys are not here for historical research, and neither are you. This is about that Marlowe woman, isn't it? Yes, but look at this. I finally got it. And it's just like I said. That led to this. And this let us here to a hole in the ground oh it's a glamorous life come on admit it you love all this as much as I do no no not anymore really huh okay well why don't you just uh, walk away oh me me walk away <laughs> that's funny <sighs> Shotguns? Why not? What the? What? Oh, he only had two. <sighs> Great. All right, just give me a hand with this. All right. Ready? <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> uh, it's cute. What? Because it's a well. Shall we? Hey, guys. Secret entrance to what? What's down there? Only one way to find out. Another non-answer. You expected something different? All right, we're good. Come on down. Man, it's just a sister, kid. You sure this is the right place? Yeah, it's it's got to be. So what was Sir Francis doing all the way out here anyway? He was on a secret expedition for Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, to find the lost city of Ubar. Yeah, the Atlantis of the Sands. Under this city? No, 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 it's in the middle of the Ruble Kali Desert. This place just tells you how to find it, supposedly. Uh-huh. You know, this place looks familiar. Wait a minute, this is what Francis Drake sketched on the back of the map. <laughs>
See, check it out. These are the same pillars. Francis Drake must have made these notes when he was down here. Does it tell us how to find the entrance? Well, it's pretty cryptic, but I think I can work it out. These holes must be important. Guess we just have to find the right one. How are we going to do that? There are a lot of those holes in this room. Well, there's got to be another clue. Look around, we're missing something. It's an Anakian script. Must have been left by Drake. Can you decipher it? I'll try. The moon will show the way. The moon? Down here. <laughs> I am not hanging around this place till nighttime. I'm pretty sure it's a riddle. I'll make a note of it on the map. You're gonna mark up Sir Francis's 400-year-old map? What? He wouldn't mind. Any ideas yet? Well, he marked three of the pillars, so I'm guessing we have to pull those three levers. At the same time? I'm not putting my hand in any of those holes. Oh, come on. We've all got to pull the switches at the same time. Huh. Doesn't seem to do anything. map up with the pillars in the room. Just gotta find the right spot. What if you stand on the moon symbol? Huh, doesn't seem to do anything. Does this mean anything to you? Yeah, I think so. trying to work out. Well, I have to line the map up with the pillars in the room. Just gotta find the right spot. What if you stand on the moon symbol? <laughs> ah! Something bit me! Huh, doesn't seem to do anything. to line the map up with the pillars in the room. Just gotta find the right spot. What if you stand on the moon symbol? <clears throat> this is it. Sully, you go to that column. Elena, you take the one on the far wall there. I've got this one. Okay, now just reach in and find the lever. Really? I think we have to pull them at the same time. Okay, but what if you're wrong? Yeah, I kind of like this on, Nate. I use it all the time. Just do it. One, two, three. You sure that's the right lever? Listen. What'd I tell you? Damn, it worked. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Okay, so why the big secret all these centuries? What did Elizabeth expect Drake to find? We don't know exactly. Treasure, I guess. What else? Buried riches of a lost civilization. Of course, it's never that simple, is it? Rarely. And those assholes in the black suits? They're looking for the same thing, I suppose. Yeah. Apollo's men. Huh. Guess we have to earn that. Please. Pick your poison. Weird. What kind of symbols are those? Never seen anything like it. 
I don't know. Looks like it's some sort of mechanism. But someone scattered the gears all over the room. You think Sir Francis? Who knows? Okay, well, let's hope we figure it out. I think we're trapped in here until we do. How the hell did it get all the way up there? There has to be another way around. Ah! Hey, this screen decodes the images. What can you see? All right, one looks like a cross, then the other has four circles. Hey, the same symbols are on some of these gears. Huh. Symbols seem to be rotating in opposite directions to each other. Okay. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Are you so sure that it's treasure they're after? Not really sure, no. Okay, all the floating body parts? This is giving me the creeps. All right, you guys wait up here. I'll go check it out.
Sully, throw me your lighter. All right, coming at you. Okay, so Nate, did Francis Drake ever find that lost city that he was looking for? Don't think so. Seems like he only came this far, then turned back and headed home. And concealed everything about this little detour. Yeah. Have you stopped to ask yourself why? What do you mean? I don't know. This whole place just seems like some kind of a... a warning to me, that's all. Ah, it looks like some kind of ornate brazier. I'll need a torch to light it. Sully, this is some kind of celestial map. That makes sense. The Arabs used the stars to navigate the desert just like sailors on the ocean. That's right. So you could use these constellations to find the site of the lost city. If I had a sextant, sure. I didn't do all that time in the Navy for nothing, you know. <laughs> in here, I thought you spent the whole time looking for that basket act. <laughs> the what? Uh, never mind. <laughs> hey. Do you think you could remember this? Oh, well, yeah, but we ought to copy it down, don't you think? Uh, no, I really don't recommend that. Hey guys, look at this. Huh. Well, that's, uh, cheery. Do you hear that? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Wait, what is that? Get away from the walls. Hold on to that torch, kid. Oh, crap. Oh, no, no. Oh, These things are way more aggressive. Wow. Man, they don't seem to mind the light as much. Keep away from that torch. Later, use your shotgun. I am. We've got to get out of here. Okay, stay close behind me. Keep shooting and follow me! Hurry! Keep moving! Sully, keep shooting! Think we can get through up here! Budge. Maybe I can open it from the other side. Try to hold him off with this. I'll help Elena from this side. Just do what you can. Whoa! Nate! Oh. Nate. Oh. Nate! Try to hold him off with this. I'll help Elena from this side. Just do what you can. How's it going, Elena? Elena! You okay back there? I'm fine. I'm fine. It's not exactly like this. Sully, need more ammo. One second, kid. Sully, I need it now! On. I'm coming! Well, open the door! Time, Elena! 
more than enough of those damn things. Wait, you knew about them? You were planning on telling me, right? Hey. Look at this. Let not the world deceive thee with its beauty. It is the dream of a dreamer. A mirage of the desert. The cup of death will be filled for thee. Lovely. It's all in English. Yeah. Yeah, it must have been Drake. Okay, so, so let me get this straight. Drake sails thousands of miles looking for this Atlantis of the Sands. And when he gets this far, what he finds here is enough to make him turn around, sail home, and hide all evidence of his voyage. Right. But you, you're gonna keep going, aren't you? Uh, yeah. And <laughs> for what? For treasure? Sully, he listens to you. Please make him stop. Yes, Sully, please tackle me. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you two? Elena, come on, we're just joking around. Listen, you won, okay? You've outsmarted her. You know where to find the city, and Marlo doesn't. Why can't that be enough? A way out. And how are we gonna do that? Over here, Nate. I'll give you a leg up.
All right, watch it. I'm gonna send the ladder down. Hey, right, heads up. Got it. Get it? There. Thanks. Here, give me your guns. Can't take them out on the street. Ah, uh, right. Much as I'd like to. Okay, I think we're clear. Come on. We gotta make ourselves scarce before any more of them show up. All right, up here. This way. No. Nate? Easy, kid. Stay away. Stay away. What's wrong with him? They drugged him. What? Come on, we gotta get him out of here. Come on, stop. Touch me! All right. No. We just, we just want to help. Get away! Get away from me. Don't let them. I won't let them hurt you. Where is it? I don't know. Give them to us. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Please. I don't know. Welcome back. I don't recommend making a scene. You're not exactly here legally, remember? Greatness from small beginnings. <laughs> Beneath that cocky exterior, you're still the same scared, filthy little runaway, aren't you? Skip the mind games. You don't know me. In fact, I suspect I know you better than anyone, Mr. Drake. Of course, that's not your real name, is it? But we won't dwell on that. Mother commits suicide. Father surrenders son to the state at the age of five. Entrusted to the St. Francis Boys' Home. <laughs> it's also Dickensian. Oh. 
Don't worry. She's of no interest to us. Unless, of course, we need to apply a little pressure. What do you want from me? Well, as much as it pains me to admit it, I need your help to find Victor Sullivan. Right. We already know he has the coordinates to find Iran. How do you know that? <laughs> you told us, Nathan. It seems your loyalty isn't as firm as you'd like to think it is. What about his? What? Wait. What are you trying to pull? Nothing. It's just that... Well, we've had you in our clutches for quite some time now. And he hasn't exactly mounted a rescue. He didn't rescue you back in Cartagena, either. He just saw something he could exploit. I know what you're trying to do. Trust me. Victor is only ever in it for Victor. It's a cold, hard fact. I discovered it 20 years ago. I'm surprised it's taken you this long to figure it out. You're wasting your time, lady. Fair enough. But ask yourself, when he scooped you off the streets of Columbia 20 years ago, did he save you from that life? Or did he just doom you to this one? Ah, excellent. Well, we've located Sullivan on the other side of the city. I'm sorry, Nathan. It seems you've been removed from the equation. Shit. 
Damn it. Surprise, asshole. Excuse me. There he is. I think you lost me, didn't you? <laughs> Come on, Tal, but this is getting old. Ana Yirsiko, وقف ولا تدخل. شرطة، أنا شرطة وقف. Magic man. <laughs> 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 